and dating guru, the beautiful Sid Wilder. How are you, Sid? I'm awesome, thank you. How are you? I'm good. What, what's with that video? That was cute. I mean, what was the inspiration you? behind the Victoria's Other Secret? Okay, so I watched the Victoria's Secret videos, and I'm like, that's not what women want. We want men to pick us up at the airport. We want men to clean. We want them to not watch sports all the time. Clean? Half the time. Well, clean. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I don't like cleaning up after Women anybody. Women can be messy, no? I'm really messy. You are, I like, exactly. <laughs> that's why I like men to clean, because I don't want to do it. <laughs> the bathroom is the messiest. Women leave everything oh, yeah. laid around the bathroom. Oh, my Cotton God. balls and toilet paper, things rolled and up. If there's two sinks, they take up both spots. Everything. They Makeup, up. everywhere, yeah. eyelashes. Does that, does that freak you out when girls leave eyelashes? Well, how come you guys don't clean? <laughs> I don't do it. <laughs> I, I, you don't do these things. I don't do well, those things. we're here to help out, you know, some of the people watching SNY. You must get hit on all the time. You're a beautiful woman. Yeah. What are some of the worst attempts you've seen? Well, in general, when yeah. a man does not open with a compliment, that's the worst attempt I've ever seen. I had one guy come up to me and he was like, I know that you grocery shop at Whole Foods and I would like to take you there after I take you to dinner. And I was oh. like, that's not the compliment that I was looking for. <laughs> Romance. I mean, like. He's going to take you shopping. Grocery shopping. <laughs> at Whole Foods? I mean, Whole Foods, yeah. But like, come on. Like, don't open with that. Like, say that you have really pretty eyes. All right, eyes. I got one. Right. Nice boots. Boots. <laughs> <laughs> Up here. Oh, yeah. All right. So, so start with. <laughs> but it's gotta be, it's gotta be a nice compliment, not like a creepy compliment. Exactly. Like go for the eyes. Right. Go for like the feature on the girl. Like you have really pretty hair. And, and guys need to know their creepy factor, right? They need to know how creepy they are. Exactly. All right. Exactly. exactly. Creep I factor. Like, I feel like that should be part important. of the bro code. It'd be like, hey, dude, do I come off as a creep? You know? <laughs> and, your, and, your, and your buddies will tell you. We're actually talking about New Year's Eve and how uh, it's an opportunity. You know, to get some, to, to kiss someone at midnight, what's the best strategy? Should a guy be eyeing up someone throughout the evening? That's the best bet, I feel yeah. like. And I feel like you should definitely be drinking because, you know, you're going close to the face. That's awesome. And then try to get him in a corner. You know, you can try. <laughs> I know, I know. That's, like, creepy. I know. But, like, dude, you got to strategize the room. Like, if someone's going to be coming at you, one of your buddies or something, they're going inter to interject a kiss. You don't want that. Okay. You know? What about just grabbing someone at midnight? Dude, I'm all down for that. Go. You gotta Grab, make an eye contact. Grab it and go. The whole night, though, right? I mean, you gotta be making eye contact throughout the night. I mean, it all depends on if you wanna see the person again or not. Like, you know, it all comes down to that. Yeah. Never wanna see him again, be like a stalker, be like, come here! Are you, you know? a total loser if you don't get anybody? No, you're not total loser. Yeah, you're yeah, kind of. If you're not kissing someone on midnight of New Year's? Yeah, that's lonely. That's a I terrible mean, way to start the year. I mean, not everyone's so fortunate, right? Well, I guess be. so. I mean, that's what we're trying. We're trying to change that for everybody. I know. Guys, it might I not know. might not work out for everybody. Well, we're we uh, we're we're talking sports before. How you know? Not every girl is cool with their guy watching sports all the time. Right. How do you handle if a guy wants to watch the 1 o'clock games, the 4 o'clock games, well, Sunday well, night football, without, Monday night football? Without woman nagging on him all the time. Right. That's, that's the key. Exactly. I think that he should have his day. You know, it's like his church day, but with sports. Man day. Do that. Have your man day. Right. Go in your man cave. Do your man things. And we'll go have our girl's day. Have like a I man feel like, date. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, that, that's is that, your day. Is that lame to you, or do you accept that? I mean, I don't want to be hearing stats. I don't want to be hearing all the things that you guys talk about with sports. Oh my gosh, did you hear about Gonzalez or whatever his name is? Right, like, right. you know, like, I don't want to hear that. Should a guy make it up to you, though? Like, if he has his man day, should he take you to dinner maybe later on that night or the next day? Should he make promises like that? Totally. Okay, see? Totally. That's good. Yes, no. Like, honey, we're going to have a man day. This seems tomorrow. like we got dinner. I think yeah. I feel like the strategy is like if you get her out, if, you, if, if the guy gets you out doing something. Look, Hey, you should get your nails done today. Why don't you go for a Manny Petty mm -hmm. on me? Go ahead. Yep. And then it's okay? Totally fine. All right. How totally about fine. What if the guy likes college football? So he's watching all day Sunday. Oh, my gosh. And all day Sunday, it's NFL, and then there's Monday Night Football. I mean, do you deal with that or... You don't deal with that. I don't deal with that well at all. I just love that football is like the shortest season of all of them. That right. that's the plus for me. Okay, that's a good like selling point. But no, like girls be like, yeah, like get your nails done, get your hair done. Like if he likes Saturday, I just won't be with him on the weekends. Like that's probably what I. Yeah, and do. she'll find some other dude. So I mean, <laughs> you gotta sacrifice something, guys, right? I mean, yeah, like that's a long time. I feel like you shouldn't watch that much sports. If you watch that much sports, then you don't have a social life. You know what the worst that's thing true. is when you're watching baseball and your woman asks you, "When is the game over?" And oh. Uh, uh, what, at the end of the ninth inning. There's no, there's no real true end yeah, to a know. baseball it's, game. It's, it's baseball tough. Is the worst. That's it's the tough. worst sport to actually physically watch. I don't get it. I don't know. Oh, I, this is the right, right place to say it, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. You're hitting a ball. 
<laughs> That's baseball in a nutshell. I know. Uh, listen, it's a throwback Thursday. So on Thursday, we, we, uh, we, we talk about a lot of the old school things we miss and some of the things people used to talk about. Remember the movie Swingers? Have you seen Swingers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they used to have this rule, you wait us like three to five days to call a girl. No. Now, I'm glad you said that. What, is, what do you feel like in 2013 going into 2014? How long do you wait when you meet someone new? Okay, and that's if you get their number, right? You yeah. get their number. Okay, first of all, that's a huge deal because I don't right. like giving my number out. By the way, is it creepy if a girl gives a guy the number and he immediately texts her, let me make sure you gave me the right one? No, because that means he's really into you. I think that's cute. Okay. No, no, but guys, guys are trying to impress girls like you, so if you do give the number and you say you don't do it for everyone, is that a good sign that he's in if he works it right? Totally. It's, totally. A, great, it's a great sign then. It's a great okay. sign, but I don't like giving my number out. I feel like you should Twitter each other, then like, you know, message each other, then Instagram each other, then Facebook each other. Oh my and God. Then get the number. This is all those steps? I know. Well, I mean, the number's like so personal to me now. I know. I know that you have like a million photos on Facebook, but like number's like a big deal, but never wait. Like, I, I think, I think she's into me. She followed us on Twitter. I followed <laughs> That means a lot. She liked that my photo. Is it true that women still like the winky face, or no? Does that work? Guys that? like the sunglasses face, I noticed. Oh. They use that because they all want to be cool. <laughs> they all want to be cool. What's going on, Sid? Sunglasses face. Exactly. <laughs> like, hey, I'm just chilling. No, but I love the winky face. What about I miss you, smiley face with the tears? <laughs> that's, that's, that's stalker. You're, you're that's overly stalker. sensitive. Yeah, overly <laughs> sensitive guy, though. I, I don't want to cry her. So, an immediate follow on Facebook, is that too creepy, is that too soon, or is that okay in today's world? Because you don't want to wait three days, obviously, we figured this out. Immediate follow on Facebook? Immediate, if, if you meet a guy, and by the Never time you, by the time you, even, if, no, by the time you even check your phone, he's already friend requested you, is that a little That's anxious? That's a little much. I think you should wait a couple days for that. Okay. For okay. all that to go up, so you're slowly, progressively is, is the actual phone call too much, or is, is the text or Twitter I the best like way to go? I like talking on the phone. You do? Yeah, I like okay. talking on the Does phone. Does it show that you're you're the man, you're confident, I'm willing to actually say hello. And have a conversation. A little old-fashioned. Yeah, I like that. All right, well, you know, the guys on SNY, they're loving you. Where can people catch more of your hilarious videos? Oh, my gosh, on my YouTube channel, Sid Wilder. It's YouTube.com, Sid Wilder, and Funny or Die, Sid Wilder. Perfect. Right. Hey, we got you a shake weight for Christmas. <gasps> yeah. How does that work? Uh, it's really easy. It's, Wait, yeah, cool. yeah, it's really Wait. easy. Yeah, yeah. How does it yeah. work? All right. I, I, yeah. I, 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 it is. Guys, uh, we love you, Sid. Thanks for being here. We love you. Sid Wilder.